Welcome back everyone to some more Dungeon Defender Delights. Today, we're actually going to take a look at three different maps. So, hope you're in for a little bit of a longer episode today. And the first map we're looking at... <laughs> it could have been so much better. It could have been. It's got a really nice look to it. It's very nicely stylized. I don't know if it's entirely Japanese. I I don't know if paper lanterns of this style are Japanese or Chinese. I do not remember off the top of my head, so yeah. Also, I'm not certain that there were street lights like this in this type of Japanese themed era. But anyway, we're, we are on insane mode, and we have a time limit, so we need to go get all the chests. And if we look at the map, well, this map looks kind of familiar, doesn't it? Yes, it is the map from the first level, and <laughs> your character is running outside of the boundaries of the map. Yeah, this map is not right. It is... This level, this level does not have a map. Why am I getting a message for Railbait? Shut up, Railbait. Get out of here. Thank you. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> the map does not match up. And there's a slight problem of... Yeah, you see that chest there? It doesn't exist. Well, we've wasted enough time. Let's go ahead and get our defenses set up. We'll just put down a couple magic missile towers. That'll be all we need. <clears throat> and there comes the enemies. Now they actually spawn at some gates, which is decent. It's just that the gates are part of a wall. And there's no entrance. Ugh. Up here, not much better. It's another spawn point over there. It could have been a little bit better. It could have been. The chest could have been put in the right place. The map could have at least been a simple doodle done in MS Paint or something like that. Overall, it's not, not a bad level. It's just not a good level. Grab the chest. So for this, this entire map, you are short one chest, which I wish could say plays into into how you are going to do later on the levels. But as you can see, the level the enemies aren't that threatening, even on insane mode, using just the basic tower. In fact, these three towers are all I'm going to use for this entire map. That's the only thing I will do is upgrade them. <clears throat> I'm even going to stand out of the way so I don't boost the towers. Ten enemies on insane mode on the second wave. And the one enemy that's coming over there is already dead. Ah. At least I'm pretty certain I'm on insane mode. Can I check? Yeah, difficulty insane. And yes, I am a level 100 character, but come on. There should be more enemies coming when you're on insane mode. I think that the amount of enemies coming on each difficulty... Th difficulty... Th <laughs> each difficulty th is exactly the same at them. Why not just abandon all English speech I have? So, yeah. That's it for this village. This map. I'm not really going to bother showing the rest because the enemies don't really change. They are pretty, pretty basic. So, on to the next map. And welcome everyone to the library. 
And I have to say, I love the look of this level. It's got water flowing down these stairs all the way from up above. Because there's holes in the side of the building. And it's storming and water's pouring in. And it just looks pretty creative. Now the enemies actually spawn right here. And at a couple other various breaches in the wall. So already it's got one up on the Japanese village one. And yes, we are on insane mode again. It's because I don't feel this level is that threatening. There's only two crystals in the entire level. One right here, and one down below. Now, the issue with this level that I have is the enemy spawn locations. They spawn very far from the crystals. There's also a couple issues with the pathing of the enemies. They will they'll get hooked up on some of the obstacles on the stairways. Which is kind of annoying, but what you gonna do about it? Now, interesting thing is that you can't actually place your towers directly in the enemy's path. You have to settle for placing them on objects. I don't know why that is, but it is a pretty neat idea. And hopefully I don't need to worry about anything much because it's just a small amount of enemies. Yes, I am pretty far away from defending that one crystal down below, but it should be fine. There we go. Alright, those enemies can get taken care of by that tower. I will take care of these enemies myself on the way. Boop, you're dead. The chest right here. And these enemies do come down. Okay. Summon magic missile tower. And I'll hop down myself. There we go. These guys are taken care of. Take care of you. Alright, was this an enemy spawn location? I don't think it was. Good question though. Why is there a bridge to an area that does not appear to have a door? You know, that actually might be an enemy spawn location. Yeah, it is. So, I better throw up some towers over here just to keep things safe. I can't place it there. can't place it there. See, this is what makes this map actually interesting. You can't place the towers in the water on the stairs... I'm assuming because the water will wash the tower away otherwise. That's the only logic I can put into that decision. I hope I can actually click this right. Let's throw a shock tower there. That should take care of everything that's attacking down below. I got a chest right here to open. This level is actually fairly difficult to do with one player when there's a countdown going because it takes such a long time for you to be able to tra to traverse the level. What is happening with my tongue today? I cannot form words with it. So honestly I would recommend doing this level with multiple people because doing otherwise just very lengthy. And there you saw a little bit of pathing issue with that guy there. And they're going down. He's going down. He is also going down. Okay, so I don't have to worry about anyone coming up. And if I did, I have a tower right here. It's defending things well enough. Ah, there we go. The Weavers. I forgot they show up. And they come in through the holes in the, the roof area. So I've got to make sure that this area is 
relatively safe. Let's get a lightning tower placed here. And another one placed here. Basically, it's like putting up big bug zappers for weavers. And put another one right here. Go. Oop, almost fell off there. And just to be on the safe side, summon missile tower. Too close. There we go. Place you that way. And we'll just start this level and see how it goes. Shall we? So enemies dropping in from up above, which I actually find kind of entertaining. That they aren't just spawning. They're actually coming out of a pipe. Although I wonder why there's a pipe in the ceiling of the library. What purpose does it have? And here comes a big group of weavers. So, I have successfully defended the crystals from any and all attacks. And only on wave 7 out of 12. Although my tower is getting a little beaten up down there. And this is why I put the magic missile tower down here. Because electric weavers could use a little more defense, couldn't I? Well, that's it for this level. The next level, you guys are going to really find impressive. And welcome to the moon base. Now, this level is really amazing. Look at it. It is so so well done! It's even got custom chests. Now, I don't know if this is an official level or not because I've seen a couple mod levels in the mod section that actually are official levels, I think. So, if this is really a mod level, it is, it is amazingly done and I applaud the person who made it. I'm assuming it is a mod level because if you look... Uh, here, let's bring it up. If you look over here, there we go. It's got writing, which makes me think it's a mod. And this actually gives you a map inside the level, which shows areas and what they're titled. Now, there are a couple Easter egg type things in here. Like, let's see if I can figure out where it is. I just love this level so much. It's beautifully done, and it's even got a floating earth spinning, no less. Less. <laughs> spinning, no less. Whoever put this map together is... They deserve... to be paid for this. Anyway, we're gonna try to find... Ah, here we go. Notice this button? You can press it. When you click it, Sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't let you do that. If you don't get what that is, I don't really blame you because I didn't really know what it was at first either a while ago. When I first heard the reference, I was clueless because I had never seen... Oh, what was it? Space Odyssey, I think it was? Yeah, I think it was a Space Odyssey. Anyway, we have a lot of area to defend. We have three crystals total and tons of areas the enemies are coming from. They're not even all coming at once. There's a couple locations where they will come from when you fail to defend crystals. Yes, failing to defend a crystal does not mean instant failure. Let's see now. We have enemies coming from over there, from over there, and over there. So this crystal, very difficult to defend. You have to defend it on three different fronts. I think one of the best ways to do that is actually to throw a fireball tower here and let's see about a lightning tower right here and 
right here. Magic missile tower. There we go. Because a genie is going a gin, sorry, is gonna spawn here and they tend to head over here first. There's also enemies coming from there that are gonna go this way. They could also go this way, so we have to defend from here as well, which has enemies that will come and go this way. Or potentially this way. Isn't this a fun level? It's so freaking complex. You got enemies everywhere. Alright. So we can have enemies coming down these stairs, down these stairs, or over these stairs, all heading to this crystal. They also can be coming from this hallway. My god, this level is so complex to defend. I love it. So we're going to try summoning a magic missile tower over here. And a second magic missile tower here. Just to give a little extra firepower. As for this area, let's see, we can have enemies coming over the bridge or coming over here. So we are going to set up some towers. It'd help if I didn't keep clicking this, scrolling the wheel every time I click. Set up a lightning tower here. And a magic missile tower to complement it. As for the enemies coming down this way, pretty straightforward. We set up defense right here. Let's go with a fireball tower. And a lightning tower. Well, I should put that in front. There we go. Let's see, do I have any more chests that I missed? I don't believe so. Okay, so we have only one crystal left to defend. And that one has enemies that can come from down below up these stairs to attack it. Or from these stairs to attack it, or from this walkway to attack it. All three crystals can be attacked from three different angles. It is a little bit maddening, honestly. Fortunately, this one's a little more lenient in areas you can set up defense. Come on, stop scrolling, damn it. So we will go magic missile towers on these stairs. That should be all we need to go. Let's see. We're actually going to have to go with magic missile towers over here as well. And a lightning tower. As for this one... We'll try to... Actually... Eh, if this corner was closer, I could put a lightning tower right on the corner instead and have the enemies congregate a little more, but it's not going to work very well. Let's set up a magic missile tower here. Alright, let's get this show on the road. And I'm going to be paying attention to this area in particular because of that gin. Now where will these guys go? Looks like they're turning around the corner and hang down the stairs instead. Ah, but some of them are coming up here. Thankfully, I am able to zap them with lightning from down below. I'm not sure how exactly, but we did it. How close are enemies getting? Anyone in threat? Well, things seem to be doing fairly well. The enemies are being taken care of over here. These guys are down for a world of hurt as they're being hit by Gatling Towers, essentially. Let's see, the last ones are coming up those stairs there. Hello. Let's get these crystals. 
and the wave is finished. So, not very difficult first wave, was it? It gets significantly harder, though. Thankfully, I have it set to easy. I just had to make sure it wasn't one of those that automatically changed the levels. When I tried this before on medium difficulty, I had a really, really difficult time. Which is why I was hesitant to do it on medium mode again for the video. Thankfully, it seems I've gotten the idea down fairly well of how to defend these areas. But a cool thing is actually what happens when you lose a crystal. So, in the name of science and video entertainment, we are going to sacrifice the defenses around one of the crystals solely for the purpose of getting it destroyed. And that one will be this one. Alright, do I have all the chests yet? I am missing one up here. There it is. Alright. <clears throat> now to upgrade the towers and add more defense. We're going to add lightning towers because I love to have my lightning towers next to my little mini towers. They tend to work out so well in this level. Because they get a lot of coverage. Let's see, we got a lightning tower here. Let's add another lightning tower down here. And... All that's left is to upgrade. Which we will only upgrade the lightning towers for now. Upgraded. Just a three more to go. Actually, I'll upgrade that fireball tower too. Ooh, I missed a chest. That's... A little more money to spend. Good. Alright. I will upgrade these two as well. Alright. Level start. Let's watch as one of these crystals is destroyed. And without... With barely any time passing at all, we have a Jin. Who actually went over there. The crystal is now under attack. It will take a little bit for them to destroy because they are weak on easy mode. And with the death of crystal, we die as well, as does everything in that area. And we now have a weird floating black orb with a strange blue purple glow around it. And if we touch this, we can see the level disappearing behind us, and we pop out of here. Isn't that cool? The crystals actually have a function of sorts when they are destroyed. And if you notice, my defense units have dropped down to 90. They used to be at 105. So when you lose crystal, you lose your capability of defending. It makes it harder to defend. You can only cover so much area. And one more cool thing about it. Notice something strange here. Enemies are actually going to be coming from the dark orbs where the crystal used to be. Now, I don't know if that's an actual function that was in any of the expansions to Dungeon Defenders, as I have not played the expansions. Which I really should get to do that. But I think it's just such a unique way of making the crystals matter in terms of defending them. 
So that's going to be it for this video, guys. If you want to check out these levels yourselves, check them out. Look them up on Steam. Give them a download. Give them a try. Try them with friends, especially that tower one, because that basically requires two people. I'm just going to go ahead and let this run and watch enemies pour out of the black hole. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and favor if you did. I will see you next time. Take care, and goodbye.